guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm just Kaylee Dancing Avon Lady and Happy New Year! This is my first Avon uh, YouTube post of the 2019 year and I have something super exciting to share with you. So Avon Canada has recently just launched in campaign one their Let It Snow cash incentive and that is so exciting! We're currently in campaign two so there's just the beginning of the whole incentive and we play until campaign eight. I really want just to get on here super quick just to kind of give you a quick overview of this incentive. So this is my understanding of how the incentive works. And so if you do have any additional questions or you need more clarification, make sure you do contact your business development manager or you do contact your Avon mentor. All right, so now here it goes. So this is the incentive. And who wouldn't want to earn an extra $4,000 cash? Now what will we do with $4,000? You want to get a giant unicorn bigger than mommy? Yeah. That'd be exciting. A giant unicorn bigger than mommy. <laughs> that would be pretty awesome. Okay, so I want to give you the rundown and a little bit more information on this incentive. For this incentive from Avon, you can actually earn up to $4,000. That's right, $4,000 in cash from Avon Canada. The incentive, it runs from campaign one to campaign eight of 2019. I can't believe we're already in 2019, but yes, campaign one to campaign eight of 2019. And there is a halfway point in campaign four where you can do a fast, ca fast cash bonus. So how it works, it is a point system as many of our incentives um, have been. This is a leadership incentive and so this incentive is based completely on your first generation or the people you personally recruit yourself or people that Avon has given you as a representative, as an Avon lead. To earn the total of the $4,000 cash, what you do is you have to earn between uh, from two out of the three categories. So the categories are representative count growth of your generation one, so the people you personally appoint or people that are um, Avon gives to you in your first generation. What they do is they compare it from your campaign eight total to your campaign 26 of 2018. So usually what Avon does is they do send you a little email that gives you your base. Now, if you're a brand new leader and you've never recruited anybody before, or if you're um, a new representative and you haven't even heard about leadership and you're interested in playing for this $4,000, what it is is that you need to make sure that your, your base is at a minimum of five. So what does that mean, Jess? Oh my gosh, what does that mean? So in order to earn from your rep growth of your generation one, you need to have a minimum of plus five in your first generation from campaign eight compared to campaign 26. Now, if you don't know how where to find that, Avon usually does send you, if you're an established leader, Avon does send you a minimum um, growth count. So they'll send you what you had in campaign 26. So you just need to know, oh, I need to have five more than that number. So let's say my number was, um, let's say 68 in my first generation, so I need to make sure that I have to have at least in campaign eight, I would have to have at least six, uh, sorry, 73, 73 representatives who are active on my team. Now, um, if you are a new representative or if you're an established representative that has never done leadership before, your minimum is um, minimum base is five. So you start off with a minimum of five, which means that in order to plus five in campaign eight, you need to have 10 people on your team or 10 active on your first generation. Hope that makes sense. I hope I'm explaining myself well. I haven't had coffee yet today, so my brain is like, ooh, but however, I do feel rested because this is the first video after the holidays. So if you plus five, you get 10. So if you're a new representative, you need to have like 10 people on your first generation in order to have the, get the 10 points. If you plus 10, from campaign eight versus campaign 26, they have get 20 points. If you plus 15, they get 30 points. There are two categories, to, uh, two other categories that you can earn as well in addition to the representative uh, growth count. There's also the new leader in your generation one, which means that if the, the people that you find on your first generation, if any of them start leadership for the very first time, like they've signed up their very first person, they've never tried leadership before, they've never done leadership before, then that will count as one new up, um, one new leader in your first generation. And so if you get three 
new leaders, then you get 10 points. If you get four new leaders, you get 20 points. If you get five new leaders, that's 30 points. And it is cumulative, so it goes from campaign one to campaign eight during that time. All the new leaders that you have, they add them up together. So if let's say you had a new leader in campaign one and then four in campaign three, then you'll have five new leaders right then and there, which would be amazing. Wouldn't that be amazing? Leaders, I know. We, that's what we want. That's what we always want, right? So the third category is new title development in your first generation. So that means anybody who goes from either candidate to unit leader, unit leader to advanced unit leader, advanced unit leader, executive leader, executive leader to senior... Uh, yeah, to senior executive leader, senior executive leader to advanced leadership director. So as long as they move up in the in on the leadership ladder for the very first time, that also counts as a bonus for you or a point bonus for you. For the new title development, that also means that um, it is also cumulative. So again, if you have one new unit leader in campaign three and two new unit leaders in campaign two, that adds up to uh, three unit leaders, which will also be amazing. Now, the exciting part of this is that in there's a midway halfway point where you can actually earn some extra cash to kind of keep you going because campaign eight is a little bit ways away. So in campaign four, what they have is from campaign one to campaign four during this time period, as long as you earn 20 points, so two zero points, what's going to happen is they're actually going to give you an extra $500 cash. That's right, $500 cash. So in order to earn that the, those 20 points, it's actually a lot more simple because all you have to do is you have to earn from one category the 20 points so for example you can earn plus 10 up uh, from your campaign 4 versus your campaign 26 and that'll already be 20 points 20 points for you 20 points means what 500 extra dollars wouldn't you want that of course i would definitely need that i definitely want that it's after the holidays we all need money to pay those bills right now um if you have four new uh leaders on your team so that people who just find one for four people who find one new representative that's again another 20 points which would be the 500 dollars. or you if you have two new title developments um so you have two new unit leaders by campaign four then again that's that's actually gonna be 30 points for you you. Oh my gosh. 30 points. Oh my gosh. You know what the 30 points mean? 30 points means that you're actually on your good way to earning that total $4,000 cash, which would be amazing. In order to earn all the way up to the $4,000, there's three stiff, uh, three different, uh, well, technically four, four different levels and steps. So the first thing you would have to do is get to that midway point, the campaign four, get those 20 points from the first, any one of those categories, any one of those three categories. The second part is that you'd want to, in order to get the 4,000, you'd want to actually earn the 60 points, which would be another $3,500 by campaign eight. How would you earn 60 points? Well, you can earn 60 points by having three new title developments plus a plus five on your first generation. Title developments being like three new unit leaders plus a plus five uh, new representatives on your first generation. Sorry, a growth of five. I don't want to say plus five. I want to say a growth of five. Yeah, I think growth is a better word. We're going to say growth. Growth of five from your campaign eight versus your campaign 26 up from 2018. So there's different multiple ways that you can do it and it's completely up to you how you want to do it. As long as you remember, you need to make sure that in order to earn the biggest bonuses, you have to earn from the two categories, not just from one category, it has to be two categories. Now there are little, not really fine prints, but there are rules and regulations within this. So once again, all the points are calculated in your first generation only. So people on your second generation, third generation, they don't count. However, it's still important to support them because you also want to help your leaders earn these incentives and you want to help your leaders be able to achieve title movements and uh, building bigger teams. Because you know what all that means in, in the end? That means a stronger base and a stronger team for you for the rest of 2019 and onward. So always reach down your levels as well so that you really do touch base with every Everybody on your on, on your generations. So to reiterate again, the point number two is that it has to be new leaders and titles must be a first time title achiever. So let's say if I had a leader who had achieved advanced unit leader back in 2014 and they lost their title to back to unit leader, but they now became advanced unit leader again in 2019, does that count as my new leader title? Mm -mm. It does not count. Where do you see this? You see this under your report, and it'll say maximum title uh, achieved. Roll-ups do not count unless they become a new representative reinstatement leader or a title following roll-up. Let's say I had a leader who quit, okay, or their, their account's closed. The people who roll up, if they're inactive, it doesn't count. They have to become active members or they have to become a new unit leader after they rolled up to me in order for it to count as a new title development. 
So representatives from the Avon Take the Lead programs, they do count. And what is that program? That program is where once you become a unit leader or above, Avon will actually give you free leads. They will give you people who sign up on the Avon website. They will just give them to you from anywhere across Canada, providing that your account's in good standing and you had a sign up, a personal audition with a minimum, I think it's like a $50 order within the last two campaigns. So like that's free money for you, free team members for you and free more opportunities for you. That is amazing. Orders must be paid in full by the due date. This is important. Avon needs to get paid. Okay, so because I've had people ask me, say, Jess, you know, uh, why, why, if they don't pay, why does Avon take the money back? Um, deducted from my check. Well, because you know what? If Avon doesn't get paid, how do you expect to get paid? You need to make sure that your team members are paying their account. It might not be that they don't want to pay their account. It might be just that they don't know how to pay their account. However, now with the the fact that the orders are for prepaid for new representatives, it makes life a little bit easier. So make sure you when you do sign people up, you make sure that they do understand uh, the difference between a prepaid credit card and a debit visa card. All right, so make sure your new representatives do understand that. So in order for you to earn as a leader, the either the fast cash or the complete let it snow, you want to make sure that you do um, have achieved that unit leader minimum of unit leader title by campaign four for the, fra or the fast cash and by campaign eight for the entire let it snow cash incentive. So once again, I have to reiterate, and I know I'm sounding a little bit like a broken record, for the representative growth count in your generation one, you need to know that it is compared to campaign 26 of 2018 or a minimum base of five if you've never done leadership before or even if you started leadership and you only had two people in, in, in campaign 26, your minimum is still five. So in order to earn from that category, you have to have a minimum of 10 people in your first generation. Does that make sense? Please let me know that makes sense. If that's not being clear, if I'm not being clear, Ask me again and I will tell you again. <laughs> if you want to see where I got all this information from, you want to go onto your Avon website and go to the Avon Canada's program guide number 898 and it does detail everything in here for you. If you need more clarifications on anything, do not hesitate to contact your mentor or your contact your BDM or again, you can always contact myself as well. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube right here obviously. And if you're on my team, you also have my personal cell number. Um, they can always text me with. And so yeah, I'm excited. So <laughs> I was actually... <laughs> I was debating whether or not to do this, but as soon as I heard the name of this, my brain went to let it snow, let it snow, can't hold me back anymore. Let it snow, let it snow, don't let the cash go out that door. Cause here I am, and here I'll stay. Let's go prospecting, don't let all that cash get away. <laughs> I'm being silly. Did you like the song? She likes Mulan. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I found, and found it informative. If you did, please do give me a big fat thumbs up. And if you're excited about this incentive, give me a big fat thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you do click that subscribe button as well as a little bell icon beside it so that you never miss a video notification. I do try to strive to post between two to three videos a week. And if I do have extra time, I post up a fourth bonus video. It is a new year. I have lots of ideas and I hope to, I do really, really hope to get back to my schedule of posting at least a minimum of two videos a week. It's just life was so busy in fourth quarter and you know why. If you do sales, you know why. And so anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you. All the best. Good luck. Bye.